Hey everyone, today we're talking about some real jerk bugs. Yeah, we, uh, we're back at the zucchini plant and uh, we, we've noticed that we've got some wilting happening. I'm going to flip the camera around here and I'm going to show you some of the treacherous activity that is happening. If you look at the zucchini here, you'll see, you know, look at that, look at that one zucchini that had the big old flower on the end of it. It has gotten eaten up and torn up. You can see that the wilting brand new leaf stems are just falling apart. It's having troubles. And I just cut off uh, from this side, actually. I just cut off a, a new little zucchini that had a, uh, a flower on it because it had a hole in the side of it. And uh, that is no good, no good at all. If we uh, take a look over here, I'm gonna see how close I can get in. We've got some bizarre little orange stuff happening on this uh, on this leaf here, and I'm not sure if it's related. Okay, here is one of the telltale signs. This one is obviously pretty far gone. This is one of the uh, newer zucchini plants, and as you can see, all the leaves are really wilted. Uh, as soon as you start to see some wilting, especially if the other plants are looking good, that might be a sign that you've got a borer going on. So what I wanted to show you right down here, you see all that little orange crud on the ground? Yeah, that's your other sign that you're dealing with some borer bugs, some borer uh, larvae there. These are this, these are droppings. Yeah, this is the nasty jerk bugs poopoos. So uh, there you go. They are present. They just leave their droppings everywhere. They destroy your plant and wilt it all to pieces. How lovely. This is apparently a vine borer, your squash vine borer. They, they are, uh, the adult form is a moth, this weird uh, black colored moth with some red or orange colors in it. And it lays its little brown oval eggs around the base of the, uh, the plant, in this case zucchini. I have not found any of those, but kind of a dead giveaway that they're present is that you'll see little bits of sawdust uh, looking material around the plant. Maybe little holes where they have actually bored into the plant itself, usually toward the lower stem. But they can do it in the fruit as well. And if you happen to catch it early and eradicate those eggs, uh, you may save the plant. If you don't catch it early and they hatch their eggs, then you're probably in the situation we're in right now where we have boar larvae crawling around. It's disgusting. I'm gonna show you this uh, little tiny zucchini that I have cut into. I cut the, uh, the, hole, the piece with the hole in it uh, right where the hole was and saw that there was a path going down inside of the zucchini. Uh, once you actually follow that path down a bit more, I cut a little bit more off. I'm going to bring this up here. You can see the little zucchini in there. And if you look, we got a little hole in there. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And if you get it really close, oh yeah, you can see that disgusting little larva. Now you're, you're a filthy, filthy creature larva. At any rate, that is, uh, yeah, that is what we're dealing with. So this lovely zucchini plant that has produced some great, great vegetables and has really started to take off, I fear is probably going to be leaving us soon. We'll do our best to eradicate the pest. But uh, this is apparently something that comes on with summer. Um, if you get your plants planted earlier and you harvest before the summer comes on, good on you and, and you're good to go. Once the summer comes, especially somewhere hot and humid like this, uh, you're going to have a hard time really producing a lot of good quality vegetables. Uh, and then you're going to start dealing with all the pests. And this is one of those pests that comes out of their cocoons as summer comes on and starts to take over the garden. So keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for little holes being bored into your plants, little bits of sawdust below it. And uh, if you see a little hole in there, you will uh, probably be able to find the uh, the visitor, the guest. As it, uh, that is just... That is just terrible. Just off. I'm going to see if I can flip this around so you get a little better view because I should witness the, the grossness of this little bug myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That is 
just not okay. So now that I've ranted and raved about the tragedy that is these jerk squash vine borers wreaking havoc on our zucchini, I probably should offer you a few tips on how you can try to eradicate them and then maybe ensure they don't come back. First tip is going to be if they've already started boring into the plant and you see the little bits of sawdust at the base of the vine, uh, you can kind of get a very sharp blade, like a little razor blade, something fine like that. Slice into the stem. Don't do too much damage, but you should be able to kind of open it up a bit, see the actual larvae inside, and then remove them and, of course, get rid of them once you do. Uh, that's one way that you can get in there and try to get, get, get rid of them. The other way you can get in there is to get a thin little wire and stick it in at the point of entry. You should be able to see the holes that are bored into the side of the stem and stick that wire in there as far as you can, trying to kill and get rid of as many of the larvae as possible. Of course, if you see the eggs ahead of time, there are these small, overly brown eggs, then get rid of them. Get rid of all the eggs and make sure you don't have any more there. Once you've gotten rid of them, you might want to put some diatomaceous earth down, if you're comfortable with it, around the base of the plant. Another thing you can use to repel them is some black pepper. We've actually used black pepper to try to keep certain bugs away and found that it actually seemed to do pretty good and doesn't cause the plant any harm. It's a pretty natural approach, right? Moving beyond that, preventing their presence. Again, the adult here is that black and red moth. Uh, we do not, and they look more like this kind of mutant fly bug than a moth. But if you see them on the leaves, they're laying eggs. They're not just hanging out. So if you see them present at all, You'll want to capture them, put them in some soapy water, get rid of them. You don't want them anywhere near the plants. Now, of course, if you want to prevent the bugs from even landing on the plants and ever showing up in the first place, you can get this, uh, these row covers that are kind of like a thin netting, if you will, uh, that covers your rows of plants. That way, nothing can land on them. Uh, you won't have bugs showing up from other places, laying their eggs and boring into your uh, boring into your plants. Uh, in order to do that though, you're going to have to be willing to do some manual hand pollination because obviously if there are netting over your plants, bees aren't going to get to them and the plants aren't going to get pollinated. So kind of a give and take scenario there. You can put up netting, but then you got to hand pollinate. So those are just a few tips. You can obviously go online, look up squash vine borers. You will find an infinite amount of articles giving you every kind of tip under the sun on how to get rid of them. I hope these few tips help you out. Pretty much early detection is best. And pretty much if you can plant earlier in the season and harvest earlier before summer sets in, you got a better chance at your plant surviving. At any rate, I hope this helps. I hope this prevents some of you from having to deal with these nasty, boring bugs and uh, that you have more success in eradicating them than we did. Maybe you'll be equipped to, uh, to spot them before they actually set in, as we're kind of uh, discovering after the fact. Oh well, more misadventures in gardening. See you on the next one.